it was tough to imagine. It was tough to imagine what the American dream it is. You just heard people talking about it, so that made you so curious. So now that I've been here for 15 years, uh, now I understand what made them say it's a different world. Back in 2004, it has been offered um, a job, a contract as a tennis coach in United States. It seemed to be very exciting for us. Carolyn was in the middle of the second grade when they moved to the US and Maria was in the kindergarten. Not even knowing the language, they picked it up really, really fast. In less than uh, two years, they seemed like they were born here not having friends from childhood, that made them uh, be even closer to each other. We were best buddies when we were young um, in Romania, and then growing up when we were six, seven, eight, nine, he played tennis, so I started playing tennis, and he did this, so I did this, so it was always like that. Catalan has a one-handed backhand, uh, so he's, that's always been really cool, and He's got the nicest technique I've ever seen, ever what anybody hit. And Maria's feisty, you know, plays like a professional. She is super confident and I love that. She's so competitive and she's in there every single point and she competes day in and day out. She's done a fantastic job adjusting to the team. I mean, she just couldn't be a better addition for us. Maria said that if I'm going to school, Duke is going to be the only school I'm going to go for sure. We are, as tennis coaches or my wife being a fitness trainer, uh, we have to think as parents as well. Let's make sure our kids have a future, still keeping the option of playing professional tennis, tennis open. I thought more about my education and more about my future and things like injuries or just not really having my career go the way that I wanted it to and I decided that coming to school would be very good for me and my development. It's been fun because we've grown up you know and we've practiced a lot together growing up and stuff so it's been interesting having like her here now in this you know in this environment that I was in for three years before she got here it's it's an interesting experience. Having my brother here is the best it's a huge part of why I came here I Get really, I get like separation anxiety if we're away from each other for too long because I count on him for everything and he's always been my biggest role model. Catalan is the most supportive brother I have ever seen out of anyone I know. He wants Maria to do whatever she wants in life and pushes her to be the best that she can. They just have this amazing relationship uh, where they can rely on each other for anything. He's just He's really, really giving. He's super caring. I know that he would do anything for me, and it's always been like that. We grew up tied at the hip, and I know we'll always be like that, so that's really, really nice to have that. I've never really seen it as like a competition necessarily between us, and I don't think she has either. It was more like a, just trying to get both of us trying to get each other better. Growing up, having my dad as my coach and father was not the easiest, but it's definitely made me grow into a more mature person and understand the love given not only as a coach, but as a father as well. He's super passionate. He always has been. Like, it's always been his dream to see us succeed and, you know, get us to a super high level, which obviously he already has just being in college. It's been very challenging. It's been a long journey and uh, we're still in it. Other days when you see them uh, shining on the court, this is why I'm coming back. <laughs> Going back to the years when we decided to come in the United States, I wasn't even sure if our kids are going to make a career from tennis. I was very fortunate to have two talented kids on my own to be also very hard workers. Tennis is a huge part of, of my life, of our life. We love every single 
second and every, every part of it. And uh, yes, I feel like we reached our American dream.